Surrounded by supporters, Ashraf Ghani is celebrating his re-election. According to the Electoral Commission, the Afghan president of five years won with just over 50 percent of the vote, against 39.5 percent for his rival Abdullah Abdullah. This is not only an election victory, this is the victory of the will of the people of Afghanistan. Abdullah Abdullah, however, has refused to recognize the results, himself claiming victory Tuesday and announcing he would form his own government. The release of the final vote tally followed nearly five months of delays, after Abdullah and other candidates submitted more than 16,000 claims of irregularities against the incumbent president. The result they announced today was the result of election robbery, a coup against democracy. We have won this election and we announce our victory. A reaction that has stoked fears of a repeat of 2014, when Abdullah also ran against Ghani and contested the results, pushing the country into a constitutional crisis. The Taliban, too, have contested Tuesday's results raising concerns that the election could derail ongoing talks with the United States in Doha. Both the U.S. and the Taliban say they're close to reaching an initial agreement, which could pave the way for long-awaited direct talks between the militant group and the Afghan government, if Tuesday's results don't throw a wrench in the spokes.